Hey guys, my name's Dan. Um, I'm 22, living up in the in the Welsh Hills. Um, my first video of me speaking like this, I'm I'm not usually pretty good with speaking in front of people, so you're all just gonna have to <laughs> put up for me. Anyway, this is my um, 2014 Seat Leon Cupra, 280 brake horsepower. Got a few bugs on the front of it, but she needs a bit of a clean. Just going to give you guys a quick tour around the car, really. Just um, I've had to do it in the, in the shed, because uh, it's slightly windy outside today. But, yeah, there's the car. I'm happy with it. I've been proud owner of her for the past. 15 months, nothing's really gone wrong, as you can tell by the videos I've put a Cobra cat back exhaust on it, that's non-resonated, I fitted a VWR air filter, just a replacement kit, um, I deleted the sound after, makes the inside sound a lot nicer, just the exhaust note, none of that fake sound. Um, but other than that, oh, well, wind deflectors, but that's just a must. Other, other than that, that is basically all the modifications I've done. Oh, I lied. I put a, I don't know if you can see that very well, a TRC front splitter, as you can see there. Yeah, see, it fitted uh, pretty well, to be to be honest. Y usually, if I buy things which are mass produced, they never go to plan. But yeah, reasonably easy. Six bolts. I've also put some self tappers just to be safe. But yeah, give you a walk around the car. Okay, now. guys, we'll start off at the front of the car. As you can tell, it looks pretty aggressive with that front splitter on. Makes a hell of a difference. I've also got the adaptive cruise control. You're going to have to excuse the flies, whether or not the camera is picking them up. Um, obviously, the nice cupper badge. Um, full LED headlights. The washers to go with them. Um, I have the 19's cupra wheels with the, you can't quite see them, but the cupra disc, uh, no, not discs, cupra calipers. Uh, lovely red colour, I must be said. I like my red cars. Um, obviously black wing mirrors, I've got the Team Heco wind deflectors, same on the rear, 19s, I'll have to pull the car out so I can show you the back of the car, we'll take a good quick look on the interior. Looking from the outside in, it's pretty damn nice. Obviously, it's not going to be nice, nicer than a VW Golf R or an Audi S3, but it is reasonably nice for what the car costs compared to the other two. Um, I've gone for leather seats in mine, not the bucket seats. These have got a pretty good they do hold you in pretty well. Obviously the Seat sound system comes as standard in these cars. Oh, my uh, little dash cam up there making that weird noise. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how well this will come up on extension 
flappy paddles on here makes the steering wheel look a lot more aggressive from the top you've got that uh, cuff badge again there and down there I've got the DSG version as you can tell by the flappy paddles the upshifts with this Cobra exhaust is yeah it's pretty mm. immense back of the car there nobody ever sits in the back got a compartment under there cup holders um, anyway I will light the car up so you can see the screen so there we have it let's close the door but yeah I like the color nice and bright yet again it's got nothing on the new Audi S3s and the VWRs but yet again you pay for you pay for what you get don't you um, got the I got the sat nav pack obviously all these down here volume button now this button this button is what everybody is waiting for mine is always in now, mode. not the very best for the MPG as you can see last time it went out 13.4 miles per gallon but let's just say that wasn't driving it too politely but usually I get around about let's say if we're going on the bike pass on the motorway I'll on average about get 26 28 miles per gallon which isn't bad considering I'm driving it in sport mode with the flappy paddles in Capra mode I would say that's reasonably reasonably good in my eyes gone for obviously I've got climate control um, but, but yeah that is um, that's the interior of my car really yeah 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 ignition on um, as you can see there just done over 19,000 miles in it it is a 2014 plate with obviously a private number plate on it as you can tell by there but now I'll start her up pull her forward and we can have a look at the back now bearing in mind it's a cold start in a very combined space it's going to be fun Turn the car off, obviously reasonably loud in, in a garage, but so turned it off so we can have a look at the back. Right. As you can tell, I'm over the moon, but a couple of badges makes it stand out from the rest. Because, in all fairness, if you've seen the car from the side without the twin deflectors or from the front without the splitter. This doesn't look that much different than a normal Seat Leon. So then badges just make it stand out a bit more. And obviously you have the two tailpipes. These are the Cobra tailpipes, so they are five and a half inch wide. Let's see if we can get them there. 
with a three inch pipe all the way back to the cap. Let's see if um, see out there. But yeah, this thing sounds insane once it's warmed up. You wouldn't believe the crackles and pops that's coming out of it. Now, if you're just driving along in comfort mode, which I hardly ever do, but if you do, you don't get that many crackles and pops. And it's, it's reasonable. It hasn't got a valve system like the Golf R or the Audi S3. But because of the automatic transmission, it doesn't rev very high, so you can't really hear it that much. But as soon as you stick it into comfort mode, whack it into sport mode, DSG, you're away. Anything above 1500 RPM, I'd say that this is like a whole different animal. So yeah, this is my 2014 Leon Cupra, 280 brake horsepower with a Cobra Catback exhaust system and a VW R air filter. Now I've been debating if to get an induction kit for the car. That might be coming. But what's more on my mind is a race chip. Now if I got a race chip, it can boost this car. Front wheel drive, just a front wheel drive, up to 350 brake horsepower. Now that is tempting. With the sound that this car makes already, and the power, believe me, it's it's pretty it's pretty quick as it is. So I, I I'd like to I'd like to know what it's like with 350 brake horsepower. The thing is, for this car to perform well, because it's a front wheel drive car, it's got to be bone bone dry, and and with me living up in the Welsh Hills, as you can tell, it's not usually dry. So, that's the only thing which is on, on the air uh, about. But if you guys would like me to get the race chip for this car, and I can, I can make some videos, I can install it, make an install video. If you'd like me to do that, leave a like, comment, comment below. And also, also if, you, if you've enjoyed the video and my first vlog, me speaking to a camera, as you can tell, I'm a bit hesitant. But if, if you've enjoyed the overall experience, please subscribe. I, I, I'd appreciate that. Very much, and obviously, leave a like, share, and comment below if you want me to get a wrist ship for this camera.